What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. And in this last segment, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what's up and happening in terms of the community in the Top Shot back in the Philippines and in Asia. Well, um, talk to me a little bit about maybe let's start first with the Asian Mint. How did Asian Mint started? What is the premise? And, and, and how is it like, you know, being part of that community for all audiences out there looking to see which Top Shot community they want to join in or be part of? Yeah, so the Asian Mint initially started uh, because uh, most of the users were into Top Shot, but as uh, the NFT community grew, like more and more users uh, were talking about other NFT projects, like a lot of the users uh, from the Asian Mint, like uh, they were able to buy into the board apes when they uh, f when they initially minted, yeah. Unfortunately for me, uh, I couldn't uh, like I couldn't make myself buy into a like a profile picture or an image of a tape for like eight hundred dollars back then. Yeah. So like those guys, uh, like most of them, they're really uh, sharp. Uh, they got into a lot of great NFT projects early on, like Cool Cats, um, the the penguins like the fudge penguins and uh, like recently uh, a lot of them were able to get into Omniforce as well mm -hmm. so since uh, there are a lot of users who are very into uh, very into NFTs like they share <coughs> they share their due diligence and the research they do to the other users in the community so I think I think being part of the, a community, being with your friends, it helps. Uh, in, it helps uh, with uh, finding good NFT projects because it's much harder when uh, you just read about them. It's uh, you get a better feel and a better understanding when someone has actually experienced or immersed themselves with an NFT project they're venturing into. Because uh, like in most NFT projects like in Twitter or Discord, most of the people shilling those projects are anonymous. Mm -hmm. So like by knowing uh, by knowing uh, the source of the information, uh, I think it makes you more trustworthy. It, it makes the person more trustworthy, because uh, and most of these these people, even if uh, I haven't met them, but but since I talk to them daily on a daily basis, uh, it's like uh, you know them. Uh, you know them uh, like uh, really well. That's good to hear, and I think. The big part of what NFT projects has done is create communities that, you know, yeah. that were bonded through similar interests and similar outlook for what they look for in an NFT project or what they look for in an NFT community in terms of utility and applications in real life or any sort of, you know, um, any sort of benefits that you get from being. Because at the end of the day, what you're buying into is the token, the blockchain, the codes behind those images. Right? So I get that they're just straight image, but it's the code that's unique in it and what you know determines yeah. in terms of you owning it and, and what it benefits you in terms of real life application. And, and, and I think it's you know what Asian Mints is doing is really great in educating people into the NFT space, right? And and on top of that, there's also another community that you're part of, which is the NBA Top Shot Philippines, right? Talk to me a little bit about that community. How did that kind of started? How's it going now? What is you know what is upcoming next for them? How's it grown to yeah. be this size that it is? Yeah, so the Top Shot uh, Philippines Facebook group started last uh, February. It was uh, started by my good friend JC Cuevas. Uh, he used to handle like an NBA 2K Facebook group. Mm -hmm. So he invited uh, one of the other um, like moderators of that group yang uh to create uh top the top shots philippines facebook group since uh yang and jc they're very into 
the NBA, NBA 2K, and NBA Fantasy. So it, it was an easy, uh, it was easy for them to get into Top Shot as well. And they were, they are uh, very versed in uh, handling or facilitating a Facebook group. So they were the, so they were the ones who really helped uh, make the group, uh, make the Top Shot Philippines Facebook group grow the past few months. Right now, there are over 4,600 members for the Top Shot Philippines Facebook group. Uh, I think that's almost 1% of all Top Shot, all of Top Shot users uh, globally, right? Wow. Like with active users <laughs> around 500,000. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. And with the, yeah. the Filipinos' love for uh, basketball, uh, I think eventually Top Shot would catch on here in the Philippines. Like Filipinos are very much into basketball, Facebook, and collectibles. <laughs> and collectibles. Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, it's gonna grow organically in the future as, like, as long as Top Shot is able to market itself well. Like once it markets mainstream, I think it would reach a higher audience here in the Philippines. Uh, the purpose of the group is to help onboard users to the Top Shot platform as smoothly and as uh, conveniently as possible. Because uh, most users, uh, they tend to make mistakes no, when they're new. Like, like, there are still users here in the Philippines uh, who are not familiar with uh, funding accounts using cryptocurrencies or withdrawing accounts. Uh, right now, uh, when you withdraw, when you withdraw money from Top Shot, uh, it's much easier if you're located in the in, Nor- in the North America region, right? Like in mm-hmm. the U.S. and Canada. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you're in the Philippines or if you're from Southeast Asia, the only way for us to withdraw is through a cryptocurrency wallet. So. Mm-hmm. Like the other users have made videos uh, to help other users uh, when they need to withdraw funds from Top Shot, or we um, we try to help them um, how to buy and sell moments, like what I was talking about earlier, mm-hmm. like how I buy moments, like I check the sales history, I I check how much of those moments have been distributed. Like those things, we try to talk about best practices and uh, how you can save money uh, by uh, making smarter decisions uh, in the top shot platform. No, I mean like this. I mean that's what stands out about uh, what I liked about the community in Top Shot Philippines is that they're so much helpful and supportive. And like I know it got to a point where the Top Shot Discord was kind of gotten really bad and I feel like you know Top Shot Philippines never changed it's uh never changed its culture and what it stood for and the community behind it despite all the what was happening in the Top Shot uh marketplace so that's what I think <laughs> yeah. made it so unique and that's why I wanted to have a, a chance to spotlight it and talk about it even though we had a short amount of time but I you know I'm glad that you shared that through because probably in the next few episodes or so maybe later on we're gonna have you back and maybe you know have somebody back from in maybe JC from one of your team that created Top yep. Shop Philippines, we can have and share more about, you know, their experience. So this is, you know, a great, you know, we ran out of time and we, it felt like it was a short time talking Top Shot. Well, I know before we end this kind of episode, t- maybe you can give us a little bit of a shout out and um, to anybody out there, uh, anybody that you want to give some love to before we end the show. Yeah, so I just want to uh, greet my friends uh, from the Bad Shot podcast. So that's uh, DJ Song who went back on Austria, mm-hmm. and my friends from the Asian Mint, uh, JC Cuevas, Naveen Ganglani, Terence, and uh, Ram Cervantes. Uh, so those guys, I uh, really appreciate the time and effort uh, you guys put in to help the Top Shot community in the Philippines and in uh, Southeast Asia. I appreciate that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks again, Marvin, for coming through. Yeah, thank you. Keep thank you, Mark, out. for having me. 
Not a problem. I want you guys to keep looking out for new collectors out there, audiences that are looking into Top Shot. Look into Asian Mint, NBA Top Shot, Philippines. Look into great communities that's going to help you kind of look into the, the marketplace and decide how you're going to buy moments, which moments to purchase that fits in terms of your strategy and your goals in Top Shot. And I hope you guys keep following at Pinoy Bounce. We are on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and also we are on Instagram, Pinoy Bounce. Make sure you guys follow Asian Mint as well and to NBA Bad Shot for some podcasts and some more NBA Top Shot talks, right? <laughs> and other than that, guys, stay balling. Thank you. Peace. Right. How's that? Hey, thanks, Mark, for having me. No problem, man. How's that? Like, I thought that was good. Like. <laughs>